Welcome to Gender Queer Atheist News, a sampling of the daily Gender Queer Atheist Reader. You are welcome to join Gender Queer Atheists on Facebook. Subscribe to Gender Queer Atheists on YouTube. Network with us at Gender Queer Atheist on Atheist Nexus. Links are available in the description below this video. <laughs> From Pink News, the former President of the United States, Bill Clinton, has spoken out against North Carolina's Amendment 1. His statement was sent out by robocall, which is estimated to reach about 500,000 voters. The message is seen as a tactical approach to the issue, as it does not even mention the word gay once. Rather, Bill Clinton says it will affect the state's, quote, ability to keep good businesses, attract new jobs, and attract and keep talented entrepreneurs, end quote. Hello, this is President Bill Clinton. I'm calling to urge you to vote against Amendment 1 on Tuesday, May 8th. If it passes, it won't change North Carolina's law on marriage. What it will change is North Carolina's ability to keep good businesses, attract new jobs, and attract and keep talented entrepreneurs. If it passes, your ability to keep those businesses, get those jobs, and get those talented entrepreneurs will be weakened. And losing even one job to Amendment 1 is too big a risk. Its passage would also take away health insurance from children and could even take away domestic violence protections from women. So the real effect of the law is not to keep the traditional definition of marriage. You've already done that. The real effect of the law will be to hurt families and drive away jobs. North Carolina can do better. Again, this is Bill Clinton asking you to please vote against Amendment 1. Thanks. Those who wanted to push the amendment took out a full-page ad in most of the newspapers in the state. The fight became extremely important to the Democrats as the city of Charlotte will host the Democratic National Convention this summer. Two leading Democrats, the Vice President Joe Biden and the Education Secretary Arne Duncan, have now come out in support of equal marriage, though President Obama himself has yet to state his position on the issue, other than declaring they were still evolving. This also from Pink News. South Africa, House of Chiefs Oppose Gay Rights by Edmund Broch. The South African National House of Traditional Leaders has asked the Parliament to delete a clause in the Constitution that guarantees equal rights for gay and trans people. Members of the House advised the government on traditional customs and laws among ethnic and social groups such as the Zulu. The ruling African National Congress, ANC, has said it would consider the proposal. South Africa, being the only African country that grants gay and trans people the same rights in front of the law as heterosexuals, also forbids discrimination on the grounds of sexual orientation. However, the country is still plagued by hate crimes and homophobic violence, with lesbians often targeted for so-called corrective rapes in the belief that this could change their sexual orientation. Patakili Holomisa an ANC lawmaker who is a traditional leader and the chair of the Constitutional Review Committee said, quote, The great majority does not want to give promotion and protection to these things. The last time this issue was discussed was about same-sex marriages. Most of the people in the parliamentary caucus were opposed to it. But the Luthili House ANC headquarters and the leadership instructed us to vote for it. End quote. In a comment that worried gay rights activists, he said that homosexuality was, quote, a condition that occurred when certain rituals have not been performed, and that the ruling party will lose votes if it ignores traditional values. The ANC, however, has been quick to distance itself from these comments. The Office of ANC Chief Whip has released a statement that it noted with great concern Mr. Holomisa's remarks and that the Chief Whip would meet with the latter to discuss them. Quote, the ANC caucus distances itself from these views and would like it noted that at no stage has it considered debating this issue before Parliament. End quote. 
The headquarters of the ANC released another statement saying, quote, The ANC caucus distances itself from these views and would like it noted that at no stage has it considered debating this issue before the Parliament, end quote. The statement added, quote, The ANC believes that any law which denies people the right to their sexual expression devalues them in our broader society and as such is an affront to their dignity and a breach of our Constitution. Thanks for listening to Gender Queer Atheist News, a sampling of the daily Gender Queer Atheist Reader. You are welcome to join us on Gender Queer Atheists on Facebook, subscribe to Gender Queer Atheist YouTube, and network with us at Gender Queer Atheists on Atheist Nexus. Links are available in the description below this video. Music by Kevin McLeod. I'm Rogie Riverstone. <laughs>